Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be improving our arabesque and I'm going to give you a few key exercises to uh, perform. You can do these as many times. I, I would say honestly, ideal is three days a week is great for this. Um, but you could safely do this every day. So in improving our arabesque, we always talk about its stretch and its strength. Um, I'm going to link down below that there is another YouTube I've done that involves a lot of other exercises that I think you could really benefit from. Uh, however, I'm going to get into a few new ones today. So the first one, uh, the first thing I want to talk about though is that you do need either a TheraBand, tights work, yoga pants work, that's completely fine too. Um, but just make sure you set that aside. So the first thing that we're going to get into is our upper back. So we're going to do backups and um, all you need to do is just lay on your belly right here and we're actually just going to have um, our hands right behind our head like this and we're just going to lift our chest off the mat and come down and lift up and let's do 10 of these together and down and two. And hold that right there. Now we're going to swing our arms to the back and we're just going to do a gentle lift up and come all the way back down. And in between doing these exercises, you can obviously stretch your back out right here. So there's variations that I give my dancers to this movement. One of the first ones is doing our arms in high fit and bringing it back to our back. So let me show you that real quick. So I'm in high fit and I swing my arms back. Can we try five of those together? Here we go. One, two, very good. And feel free to stretch that out. That exercise is really good if you want to just do three sets of 10. Three days a week, that is perfectly optimal. So what we're doing is we're strengthening the back muscles so that we can hold our leg up in arabesque both in the center and at the bar. All right, second exercise. You are going to want to take your TheraBand and place it around one of your feet and just tie a knot. A loose knot because you want to be able to get it out. And then what you want to do is you want to come onto your knees and you want to bring the slack of the TheraBand to the other leg. So I'm here, I bring the slack of the TheraBand to the other leg, and then I want to place this leg behind me as I'm in a kneeling position. And I want to rotate that leg and lift up and come down and lift up and come down. And every time I'm trying to get to the height that I, the maximum height I can, but keeping those hips neutral. So you don't want to start to open the hips up. You want to keep your pelvis neutral to the floor while rotating your leg. So let's try 10 of those together. And with this, you guys, you can obviously go tighter or looser with the TheraBand, depending where you step on it with your knee. All right, 10 together, here we go. Very good. All right, come out of that and we're going to switch it to the other foot and do 10 on the other side. 
So with this one, three sets of 10 is completely optimal, safe and healthy. Good, and come out of that. So I'm really feeling that one in my seat muscle, but also a little bit in my back. Go ahead and take that and unknot your bare band. All right, last exercise for us here today is going to be uh, alternating arabesque with port de bras. So we're gonna lay on our stomach and I'm gonna show you a few, some people call this swimming, but I like to think of it as like ballet arabesque alternating. So we're laying on our stomach, we're turned out with our legs, our arms are going to be alternating, depending what school of ballet you are, alternating third position, fourth position, first position arabesque, I don't know, it depends on your school of ballet. First position, and we're going to lift up and come down, and up and come down. So it is opposite arm of leg, and down. And so let's try five alternating together. Here we go. And one and one and two. Good. Really rotating that leg. And two. Shoulders down. And three and three. Four and Good, breathe, and five. Good, go ahead and stretch up out of that. All right guys, last thing I wanna go over today is just some fundamentals of arabesque. So common corrections that I'm not only giving to myself as I'm performing an arabesque, but also to my students and that I wanna give them corrections. So let's just warm up our arabesque a little bit. We're gonna be either facing a bar or a chair, even a wall works, that's totally fine. Let's go to first position, and with your leg of choice, you're gonna to go to a DGJ back. Good, again, DGJ back, and a little bit higher, 60, again, 60, and finally, 90. Very good, just getting those muscles woken up. So, the very first thing that I'm thinking about here is I'm doing an equal and opposite rotation, both with the standing leg and with the working leg. So my standing leg here is equally turning out away from that working leg. So I know that a dancer is not turning out their standing leg when their arabesque is super open like this. They're not thinking about any rotation on their standing leg. So once they begin to rotate on that standing leg, it almost naturally squares your hips off. So try that with me. Do a relaxed, turned out. Good, now really think about rotating that standing leg. I'm thinking wrapping the standing leg this way. I immediately feel my hips go a little bit more square when I'm really thinking about that. So let's just try that together, either leg. Good, and relax out of that. The second tip I really want us to be thinking about here is that we don't want our arabesque to veer off to the side. And I was guilty of this for many, many, many years until it was called out to me by a teacher. And so what I want you to do is you can either choose to film yourself on your phone or look in the mirror. And I just want you to take an arabesque behind you and see if you're not going off to the side. For some dancers, to make this the correct behind you, six o'clock, is gonna feel like you're crossing over to the other side of your body too much. And that's okay because for a time, those muscles are feeling like, are going to feel like we're not used to going this direction. So make sure you can find a mirror or film yourself and be directly behind yourself. Good, let's start in first position, try this together. Let's just bring our arm right out in front of us and directly behind us, reach, reach, 
God, let's try the other leg real quick. Hey guys, that's all the tips I had today. If you enjoyed this, can you drop a comment and let me know? I super appreciate it and it lets me know that I'm on the right track with what you guys are expecting from this channel. Um, if you have any questions, you can always message me on Instagram and I'll see you guys on the next video.